Kia ora ngā mā. So it's been a while since I've posted any videos, probably since the end of term two when we were doing medieval studies. And so me and my colleague, we've decided that we needed to up the ante a little bit going into this term. Um, and it was really hard thinking of a good project and then it kind of came to us like a lightning bolt. So today I'm gonna to share with you um, our pop-up cinema. So hopefully you like this video, so stick around and I'll see you in the So, if you watched the first part of the video, you would have seen the time lapse of us putting up the lovely pop-up cinema. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a bit of a tour of the pop-up cinema and show you how it all works. Because this is a really awesome um, opportunity for lots of educational things that you can do with it. Not only are you doing art and things like that, just to construct the um, pop-up cinema. And I suppose to a certain extent it's technology as well. But there's also quite a lot of um, reading applications involved in it, and it really depends on what you're, you're wanting to use it for. But um, hang tight, and I'm going to give you a proper tour of the pop-up cinema. Okay, on this side, this is what we call the large cinema side. So this side is designed kind of to seat what I figure to be about seven people. So there's going to be a cushion on the floor, and about four seats um, behind that, and then it's standing room only behind that. Um, the, you could, probably couldn't fit any more in there than that and this is the, these walls give us a lot of display space as well because this is meant to be designed as like a art installation slash book fair project and in this little funny little box here fits an iPad and I'll show you that a bit later but um, this is the large cinema side and probably the best side of the that's my, that's my producer in the background. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to leave that in. <laughs> the, the best side, I reckon, is the small side. I'm going to show you that next. So this is the single cinema side, or the private cinema side. And basically the point on this one is to kind of give you the real cinematic experience. The other side is to allow a larger number of viewers to see our film. Um, and I'd love to post the film uh, and the video, but um, because of privacy rights and things, because we're using the children, I'm not going to post it. But I will put a link to the audio book story that will be played in this. Shout out to Johnny Duddle, who writes the most amazing children's books. Um, and he was kind of the inspiration behind the cinema and the story that we used for the cinema. So you can see in here, there's another um, screen that fits an iPad and they will be playing duplicate movies. Uh, the difference with this one is this one obviously being smaller and private, um, the child or the person sitting in here, the viewer, can um, put on headphones and listen to it in privacy, whereas the other side will have a set of speakers of some kind that's gonna make the sound a little bit louder for a larger audience to hear. So I'm just gonna stick a screen in the larger side so you can get an idea of what it looks like. Okay, so here's the screen, and you just get a regular size iPad. I mean, you, I know there's larger iPads out there and even smaller ones for that matter. A larger one would be fantastic, but this is what our school supplies, and um, it's just an average, I think it's an iPad 2, and all there is is a slot in here, and it slots into place. I'll just turn it on so you can kind of see what's going on here. And this, this is, this cinema is going to play an audio book of Johnny Duddle's story, The Pirate Next Door. And that's just going to play to the audience and it's going to play on the other side. And then we've also recorded a trailer for our movie that's going to play before this as well. And it stars all the children and it takes excerpts from the book. So hopefully you like this. Um, I'll share some more in-depth instructions as to the construction of how to make the pop-up cinema. 
Um, hopefully in the time lapse it's quite obvious how things fit together because it's basically just three parts that Velcro together. So the whole premise of it is portability so that when you make this lovely thing that um, it takes up a lot of room, you don't have to smash it all down and throw it in the bin. You can actually store it somewhere and then use it for something else. You could play whatever movie you wanted on there, inquiry related, doesn't, or even you could play something about maths if you wanted to. But um, yeah, hopefully you like that. Um, have a check uh, of all the back catalogue of videos that I've already got up there. And if you like the channel in general, please hit subscribe because we're always doing crazy things around here. And for now, ka kite, and I'll see you next time at Mr. Ashley's place. Thank you.